I am Archangel Michael. I come to be with you at this time, in these times of continuing great change. And yes, indeed, those three words that were given for this discussion this morning, brace for impact. What does that mean? Well, it meant many different things to all of you. Brace for impact. For those times are coming, where you have been preparing for this for some time now. Not only this lifetime, but you have been preparing for this for many lifetimes here. From the time you first volunteered to come here to this planet and be a part of this evolution, you have been preparing for these moments, these moments that are upon you now. Lifetime, after lifetime, after lifetime you have moved through the planet creating the 3D evolution that was here. But now, all of you are here to create the new evolution of the fourth and fifth dimensional experience. But what does it take to do that? It takes intention. It takes your intention. More intention to bring about these changes, or allow the changes to happen. Embrace the changes as they come. So it is not only bracing for impact, for as some of you realize, it is also embracing the impact, embracing that changes that are coming, embracing one another through the process. Preparing one another for the process. The process of ascension. These are those times you have all been waiting for, all been readying for. It is up to each and every one of you to continue to hold the line here, hold the understanding of what is to come, and what is happening right now. The truth coming forward from so many different directions and so many different sources, you being able to discern that truth. Is it truth, or is it mistruth? or misunderstanding? Or mistrust? For you have heard so many times, trust the plan, but not only trust the plan, trust in yourselves to understand the plan. The plan is for all of you. The plan is for all of you that are moving through this ascension, so be ready for it. Be ready for the impact that is coming. Just as if you were on one of your airplanes and we've been telling you for some time to fasten your seatbelts. Well, why do you fasten your seatbelts? You fasten them so just in case there is any rocky movement, you would be safe. Well, there has been rocky movement, and you have had your seatbelts fastened. But as you come closer to impact, you do need to brace yourself for that. Brace yourself for what is coming. But for some, for many it will be tumultuous. They will see and feel in many cases the negativity, the fear, the agony, the suffering. But those of you that have been preparing for this, and ready to embrace the changes that are coming, you will do exactly that. You will see the beauty in all of this, the beauty in the great universal plan. Many of you are already seeing this, already prepared to accept this as it comes forward. The truth can cut both ways. The sword can cut both ways. It can cut for those that are not ready for this and will not be ready for this, and it can cut them down to the bottom of their being, or it can show the truth. The truth, the sword of truth. And that is what all of you are preparing yourselves for, to receive the truth, and to know the truth as it comes forward. And to be the ones that are bringing it forward. You are the ones that are collapsing this 3D evolution, or this 3D illusion. You are the ones that are bringing this down, you, the boots on the ground, and all of the alliance, and what you call the white hats, working together. But you have to understand that the alliance is not only here on the earth, the alliance is all of your galactic friends. Your brothers and sisters are here to help the entire process to bring you through this. So you have a great many working together to bring these changes, and very, very few comparatively working against it. You are many, they are few. You are the truth. They are the mistruths. I am Archangel Michael. And I leave you now in peace, and love, and oneness. And that you hold my mighty sword of truth, and continue to sever any psychic ties that may try to hold you down to this earth, hold you down to the third dimensional earth. For you are no longer a part of the third dimensional earth, and the third dimensional illusion. You are already all in the fourth dimension, and rising higher and higher with every moment that you continue to move through and live life. Trust, my brothers and sisters, trust in yourself. And indeed, Trust in the great universal plan.